healthy choices that are actually terrible for you. Cassava, the hidden assassin. Cassava looks harmless, but inside it hides a deadly poison, cyanide. If not processed correctly, cassava can release cyanide and cause poisoning. The compounds in cassava convert to hydrogen cyanide when the root is crushed. Just one poorly cooked cassava root can land you in the hospital. Symptoms include nausea, dizziness, rapid breathing, and even fainting. Bitter cassava contains more cyanide than sweet cassava. In Uganda, hundreds of people were poisoned after eating an adequately processed cassava flour. To remove the toxin, cassava must be peeled, soaked, fermented, and thoroughly cooked. Skip any step, and the toxin remains dangerous, even without acute poisoning. Eating improperly prepared cassava over time can damage the thyroid and brain. Yet millions around the world eat cassava every day. The key is proper handling. Peel thoroughly and soak in water for many hours or overnight. Then cook completely and discard the cooking water. Never eat it raw or lightly steamed. Extremely dangerous. Even baking isn't safe unless it's been soaked or boiled first. Eating it wrong is slow poisoning. So treat cooking cassava like a chemistry experiment. One small mistake can lead to big consequences. Respect cassava. Handle it like a potentially toxic food source. Honey, sweet but dangerous for babies. Honey is sweet, but it can be extremely dangerous for infants. Honey can contain spores of the bacterium Clostridium botulinum. Adults are fine because good bacteria keep it in check, but babies under one year are not. These spores grow in an infant's intestines and produce toxin. That toxin paralyzes muscles, including the muscles used for breathing. Early signs include constipation, weak cry, and poor feeding. Even a tiny amount of honey can cause harm. Don't dip pacifiers in honey or mix honey into tea for babies. Whether organic or raw, all honey carries this risk. Doctors therefore warn, no honey for children under 12 months. After the first birthday, a baby's digestive system is strong enough. Only then is honey considered safe. The gut microbiome can now suppress the spores. Just one year of waiting ensures complete safety. One small rule can save a life. Infant botulism can be life-threatening and hard to spot early. A baby may become lethargic, stop nursing, lose facial expression. If you suspect honey-related poisoning, go to the hospital immediately. Safest route, wait until after that first birthday. That first spoonful of honey will then truly be safe. Red kidney beans, don't mess with the slow cooker. One red kidney beans are protein-packed but deadly if eaten raw. So they contain a natural toxin called lectin phytohemagglutin. Three just for the five undercooked beans can cause severe poisoning. For symptoms strike fast, nausea, vomiting, violent diarrhea. Five, some people landed in the air after eating beans from a slow cooker. Six slow cookers don't get hot enough to destroy the toxin. Seven, safe method, soak beans overnight in clean water. Eight, discard the soaking water, it's loaded with toxin. 9. Then boil vigorously in fresh water for at least 30 minutes. 10. A gentle simmer won't neutralize the toxin. 11. Only a rolling boil makes the beans safe. 12. Can beans are pre-cooked, ready to eat. 13. But if you use dried beans, be very careful. 14. Don't risk big danger just to save a few minutes. 15. Lectin poisoning can leave you severely dehydrated. 16. Beans can be health food or silent threat. 17. Cooking is chemistry, and you're the chemist. 18. Use the wrong temperature, and nutrients turn to poisons. 19. Respect the process when cooking kidney beans. 20. Boil well, eat safely, your health comes first. Sprouted potatoes, the killer in the dark. Potatoes are a staple, but when they turn green or sprout, they become dangerous. The green color comes from chlorophyll, harmless itself. But at the same time, potatoes produce solanine, a natural toxin. Solanine protects the plant from insects, but is highly toxic to humans when concentrated. Eating green or sprouted potatoes can cause nausea, diarrhea, dizziness, severe stomach pain. At high doses, solanine can cause paralysis and even death. Historically, people have died after eating sprouted potatoes during food shortages. Worse, the toxin isn't destroyed by cooking. Remove all green areas and deep sprouts entirely. Better yet, discard any potato that's shriveled, discolored, or heavily sprouted. Always store potatoes in a cool, dark place away from light. Don't keep them in the fridge. Cold temps boost solanine production. Potatoes may look innocent, but hide a lethal threat if unmanaged. One sprouted potato can harm the whole family if ignored. Inspect carefully before cooking, especially for kids and seniors. Always discard potatoes that are green, soft, or rooted. No need to fear potatoes. Just handle them right. Turn them into safe, nutritious food, not a game of chance.
Be cautious with sprouted potatoes for your family's health. Sometimes the deadliest thing is right in your kitchen. Nutmeg, the hallucinogenic spice in your pantry. Nutmeg is a delightful spice, but in high doses it becomes hallucinogenic. The culprit is myristicin, chemically similar to certain stimulants. Just about 10 grams of nutmeg to teaspoons can trigger hallucinations, dizziness, anxiety, rapid heartbeat. Some people have experienced paranoia, loss of control, and ended up hospitalized after overconsumption. Side effects include nausea, dry mouth, headaches, and in severe cases, seizures. Nutmeg hallucinations can last up to 48 hours, a nightmare trip. The scary part many don't realize because it's a common kitchen spice. It appears in pies, soups, chai tea, but always in safe tiny amounts. Don't experiment with nutmeg. The risk to heart and brain is huge. Children are especially sensitive to nutmeg toxicity. Keep it out of their reach unless you control the dose. If someone shows severe symptoms after nutmeg use, seek medical help. Don't let this tiny spice cause a neurological horror show. Used right, delicious. Used wrong, a poison. No food is absolutely safe in the wrong dose. Nutmeg can be a mischievous spice if you don't know its limits. Read recipes carefully and measure accurately. The truth, no need to fear if you respect the dosage. Don't let an innocent spoonful land you in there. Remember, more doesn't always mean better. Apple seeds, tiny poison hidden in a healthy fruit. Apples symbolize health, but their seeds carry deadly poison. Inside apple seeds is amygdalin, which turns into cyanide during digestion. Cyanide is a powerful toxin, once used in chemical warfare. If you swallow whole seeds, they pass through untouched. But if you chew or blend them, enzymes convert amygdalin to poison. You need to chew dozens of seeds to reach serious danger. Yet for small children, just a few seeds can cause vomiting, headache, muscle weakness. Mild symptoms can mimic the flu and be overlooked. No one eats seeds to fill up, but smoothies that blend whole apples carry risk. Advice, remove the core before blending, juicing, or baking. Don't let kids chew apple seeds, even accidentally. Some people eat whole apples to avoid waste use caution with seeds. Amygdalin appears in apricots, plums, peaches, cherries too. All are in the rose family and have poisonous kernels of chewed. Best practice, discard the seeds or use correct extraction if needed medically. Your health isn't worth risking for one second of convenience. Go ahead, eat apples, just skip the core and seeds. The enemy sometimes hides in your favorite bite. Eat smart, let fruit be medicine, not poison. If you accidentally bite a seed, don't panic, but don't make it a habit. Raw elderberries, sweet berries with deadly secrets. Elderberries popular for cough syrup can become poison if eaten raw. The berries, leaves, and stems contain cyanogenic glycosides. Inside the body, these compounds turn into cyanide once a chemical weapon. Just one handful of raw berries can cause nausea, vomiting, dizziness, and diarrhea. A large outbreak in California hospitalized over 10 people after uncooked elderberry juice. They had pressed berries with stems and leaves creating a DIY toxin cocktail. Unlike many fruits, elderberries are safe only after thorough cooking. High heat destroys the toxin, turning them tasty and healthy. Properly used, elderberries boost immunity, reduce inflammation, fight colds. Miss the boiling step and medicine becomes poison. Never eat raw, press raw, or sun-dry without cooking. Leaves and young branches are even more toxic than the fruit. Kids and seniors are especially vulnerable to poisoning. When buying elderberry products, choose ones that are fully cooked or properly processed. Many homemade online products aren't safe check carefully. Elderberries both remedy and toxin depending on your method. Don't let ignorance turn a superfood into a sweet assassin. It sounds simple, yet one misstep can land you in there. Nutritious foods aren't immune to poisoning. Read directions, boil thoroughly, and elderberries will be your friend. Raw cashews, the snack that can burn your throat. Ever seen market cashews labeled raw? Not entirely true. Wild cashews contain urushal, the same irritant in poison ivy. Just touching raw cashew shells can cause rashes, itching, burning skin. Eating unprocessed cashews can swell lips, throat, even trigger anaphylaxis. Urushal has no smell or taste hard to detect until too late. Raw cashews in stores are actually steamed or lightly roasted to destroy the toxin. The shell is rock hard and holds a layer of caustic oil between the shells. Harvesters must wear protective gear to avoid contact. Every year, many workers in India and Vietnam suffer skin burn shelling cashews. In the US and EU, factories heat process cashews at high temps to remove urushal. Buying street or DIY raw cashews, extreme caution.
Never eat cashews of unknown origin or processing. Kids are especially prone to severe urethral allergy via hands or mouth. If you feel throat itch or rash after cashews, see a doctor immediately. Cashews are nutritious only when processed correctly. Don't let a snack start an allergy nightmare. Wonder why no one sells cashews in the shell? This is why. Eat right, get nutrition. Eat wrong face rashes, burns, and flaxes. Only consume cashews that are steamed, shelled, and safety certified. Behind that creamy nut lies an oil you don't want on your skin.